Hey guys, what's up? This is Hero, and today I have another quick video. So as you may notice, I'm not, um, I haven't uploaded in a while, and I'm not uh, in my usual spot at my house uh, with the whiteboard and everything. I'm in uh, Chicago right now, uh, but I needed to tell you guys this video because it's very time sensitive. It's probably actually about a week late, but I'll get to it right now. So the topic is Mercury, Mercury retrograde. Now, Mercury has been retrograde for about a week and it was stationary for about a week before that. However, Mercury. OK, so you guys might know about the all about uh, a little bit about Mercury retrograde, how like, you know, like like the most common thing is like you're not supposed to like text your ex and stuff like that. That was true for the past two weeks because it was stationary and it just started going retrograde in the sign of Libra. And Libra has to do more with other people. So you may have noticed the past couple weeks, uh, people from your past, not oh, so just romantic, but just like any close friends or family, stuff like that. You, they've been on your mind a little bit more, okay? Maybe you've been browsing through social media and like you see some people's posts and you might be like, you might have been like, oh, like this is more last week ish. But um, oh, like, you know, I wonder what they've been up to or whatever, something like that. However, this Mercury has just because it's retrograde, it just moved in the sign of Virgo, okay? And in so first of all, Mercury, if you don't know, and I'm talking about um Jyotishi, okay? Indian Vedic astrology. I'm not talking about Western astrology. And also, so Virgo is Mercury's um, most favorite sign, okay? It's its Mutrikon sign, and it's the sign that gets exalted in. However, it's retrograde, and it's with Mars and Sun. So that's a certain aspect of that I'm going to discuss here. Also, the second aspect I'm going to discuss here, so Mercury goes retrograde about three to four times a year, okay? However, this time it's going retrograde at the same time as Jupiter and Saturn. And Jupiter and Saturn are in Capricorn, which um, it's in trines to Virgo, and they're both in the same sign. And Capricorn, it's Jupiter's debilitation sign while it's Saturn's own sign, okay? So it's a little bit more it's not just a regular uh mercury retrograde it, it's a little bit of a different one and the fact that it shifted signs throughout the retrograde okay so it could, like these energies could kind of catch you a little bit off guard if you're not a little bit prepared so like i said and you, you I'm, i hope you guys can hear me I'm, you, there's a lot of noise right now but um like i said the last week or two is more on other people however right now it just went into virgo and the speed and why is why is only when mercury gets retrograde like there's like this huge thing well it's because mercury is the fastest moving planet so it moves forward a lot and it moves back fast like very quickly so it's like things can happen just very suddenly okay so now that mercury is in virgo first of all it like i said it's in trines with jupiter and saturn which are both uh retrograde and it's in a very interesting sign for both so that in the combination of um mercury being uh retrograde as well what can happen is all your bad habits that you're doing will kind of shine the light more often okay so let's just say you're eating some very junk food or you're having some very bad habits like you're scrolling on social media a lot or you're on um you know some, like like you're just sitting down watching tv or netflix like a lot every day you're, you're going to be aware of that a lot more right because virgo and uh capricorn they're both um they're both uh, earthy signs and saturn and um um uh, um Mercury are both in they're their own signs, okay? So they're very earthy in itself. And Jupiter is with Saturn, and they're all retrograde. So like, if you're eating some some junk food or something like that, it, it, like while you're eating or right before you start eating or even after eating it, you're it, it's gonna be a lot more prominent that man, I really shouldn't be eating this, or I really shouldn't eat this, or I really shouldn't have ate this. Or if you're on scroll, social media, like even before you pull out your phone, you might be like, oh man, I really shouldn't be you know scrolling on this, or I really shouldn't you know keep scrolling on this. Or afterwards, it's like, man, I really need to take a break, something like that really strong time to make some really good changes and this energy is going to last for about two to three weeks i'm going to get into the timings of all this later but it, this isn't like a forever thing okay when, when these planets go retrograde a lot of people use them as bad as they, they label them as bad because you know it's shaking things up but sometimes if you're aware of how it's shaking things up you can use this very positively and for a very um for a very strong like um to make very strong uh, like good changes in your life quote unquote good changes okay and, and you can make some very good spiritual progress so that's one all the bad habits in your life they'll, they'll, they'll just you, you'll just be a lot more aware of them and especially if you uh, you know you meditate you do yoga you do stuff like that you'll it, they'll really just shine a light way more okay two the second thing so Mercury is in Virgo but however like I said it's with Mars and Sun 
Okay, it's it, and it's gonna start. It's gonna get a, little, a lot closer to both of them, and they, it's the mercury's gonna speed up a lot. So you could, you could. Um, Mars and Sun, if you don't know, they're very fiery planets. Okay, a Mars rules Aries, Sun um, Sun rules Leo. So, in with those energies combined, you could feel the need to make some decision very rashly or some very bold decision, something like that. However, Mercury is in Virgo and they're all in Virgo, which is a very practical sign. So I would recommend before you make any decision to think, th think double or triple as much as usual before you do something, especially if it's something long term or something that's like irreversible or some, something that's like impacting you like beyond today. Okay. And like I said, the, the first energies of the... Um, of the of the Jupiter and Saturn being in Capricorn as well they they will help you um, like make those decisions a little bit more practically but that impulse to kind of do them will still be there and you'll, you'll see there'll be more for, for this whole month you'll you'll be more uh, enticed or uh, inspired not really inspired but you'll be more uh, emotionally charged to do something a little bit more with with less uh, like a little bit more quickly than you usually would do okay and I'd, and I'd advise it might, it might be a good decision it might be not but I would advise that it does not hurt to think two or three four or five more times than usual before you make these decisions okay and then also the second part to that second point you want to sit down and really analyze the root kind of cause of why you want to make those decisions okay for example if you're making decisions that are very ego based, this is a great time for them to come to light and kind of dissolve that part of your ego or kind of weaken that part of your ego so that that part of you is, um, you're able to kind of deal with that part a little bit more stronger. Okay? You don't wanna make something, you don't wanna make some crazy decision just to like, you know, get some money right now or, you know, get, get some kind of material thing or get something that your ego wants right now, okay? You're gonna, I, I, Material gains and stuff, they're not quote unquote always bad. But like I said, this is a great time to analyze your ego and to kind of see, okay, exactly why you want to make those rash decisions. And it's not those rash decisions themselves that are important. I mean, they could be, but you want to analyze those rash decisions are symptoms, okay, of a root cause. The root cause could be, you know, validation or attention seeking or something like that. And you want to do stuff in order to kind of fulfill that ego part of you which is never going to get fulfilled so that's kind of where the trap is but this is a great time to be aware of that now for the timings so like i said around um was it october so around september 20th it went stationary in libra and around uh september 27th it went retrograde in libra but even when it went retrograde it was moving very slow so like i said there may have been like some like um some some thoughts or some energies related to people in your in your past okay this doesn't necessarily have to be somebody you had a relationship with but just any any people in your past because libra has to do with other people okay uh and and it was moving kind of slow also and it was with venus so you could have kind of felt like um just just any energies related to other people Th those aren't really too crazy important but you could have just felt that oh like um something may have not have manifested related to anything like that and um those energies kind of came to light and you could have possibly felt that okay now like i said it's in virgo now and it's in virgo for about two weeks okay so this week and next week is a great time to like i said do everything that i just said in this whole video and the week or two, the week after that it's it's stationary and the, okay, so for the next two weeks, it's retrograde. And then the third week after, it's stationary. And then the fourth week after, it starts moving again. But it's, it's, it's moving forward in its most favorite position. And um, Jupiter and Saturn, by that time, they'll be stationary, right? So these whole energies, basically this whole month of October, it's like I said, it's a great time to do everything I just said in this video. Remove your bad habits and... Um, uh, what you make it? Just, just um, as far as you know, those impulses that may come. Like I said in another video, what you resist persists. You don't want to resist those urges. You want to analyze why you're having those urges. You know, to to do certain things in your life.
and that will that will take you to great more spiritual advancement than just quote unquote you know doing the right things okay like i said if you have any questions about the timings or anything like that you can always feel free to reach out and um like i said this month of october just watch out for those two things the impulses um just you know kind of see um why you why you're what, what's kind of triggering those and kind of analyzing the root causes and then secondly any bad habits you have you'll notice them very uh very prominently and this is a great time to make some changes related to those okay not just surface level changes but also analyze okay am i eating junk food just to kind of just because i'm unable to be disciplined and control myself for you know that you know that few moments of taste in my you know for, for my taste buds and that's what's causing you know my body and my mind harm okay this is just some uh, examples like i said uh uh any other details you guys might want just let me know and um i might the fact that i'm here and the fact that i'm doing this video i might start doing more videos like this very important transits to kind of um help guide uh you know some of you to make those um to kind of make those changes at the right time okay because sometimes when it comes to these transits and uh you know certain periods in your life um, we, we we don't necessarily know exactly how to deal with them okay for example sometimes the answer is you know working harder sometimes the answer is stepping back and sometimes the answer is uh, you know changing a new direction okay and those answers can in my opinion can kind of be found a little bit more easier if you kind of have this knowledge okay or I have some kind of guidance so that's it for this video um, until next time guys see you later and I'll probably be on at my whiteboard uh, doing something you know this weekend or next week. So see you guys later. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.